uh, regarding the ongoing issue with the preschool program. Uh, as the public is aware, the board did get a letter from the uh, state, a second letter, which essentially, I'm not going to paraphrase, the letter is a matter of public record, but does allow um, the, it, with, it allows the River Avenue site to be reviewed. Uh, the Monmouth Avenue site is no longer being considered. The board has entertained negotiations with the vendor, Tiny Tots. In fact, there's a representative here today. While the proprietor could not be here today, uh, he was made available as part of the contract under the Sunshine Law to discuss this in closed session. The board, if I can have, uh, if I can have a second, the board did, and the uh, board members can correct me from what I understand that discussion involved as follows. Uh, the board spoke with the vendor today, both through their representative and on the phone, to discuss three possible options. One was the four self-contained classes, which should be reduced, which is a benefit to the district and the taxpayer, to $201,341 per self-contained class. Part two of that discussion was that there would be 40 inclusion students at the state set price of 11561 which again is a benefit to the district and the taxpayer as that is less than last year. And again, I could be corrected by anyone on the board uh, or the administration. And then there was a discussion, as we do have ECPA, early childhood money, which is a matter of public record, for an additional 50 students to be 50 regular ed students who would have to be registered with the Lakewood School District if they're not already to attend that program, which is licensed by the Department of Children and Family Services. The calculation, if I recall, and if I'm wrong, anyone can correct me from the dais, was these were all mutually exclusive considerations, which means if you get one or the vendor would accept one, doesn't mean he has to accept the other. From my understanding, we were informed by the vendor that unless he would get the self-contained and the inclusion children, that it would not be economically viable or feasible for him to continue running the program. And anyone on the dais can correct me, but that's what I heard. Does that anyone have issue with that? Uh, there is a question that I need to pose, which I do not have the answer for. There are 50, allegedly 50 regular ed students who are currently set to attend the Tiny Tots program. The vendor has indicated that those 50 students need to attend because the vendor has made commitments and school is only a few days away. What I'm asking for is an opportunity to review this with the appropriate, through the superintendent, the appropriate county and or state, first with the county, or typically um, always ready and willing to assist districts in the county which Lakewood is, to see if we could, since those students already have been enrolled there, if they could continue to attend, albeit as public school students. That answer is not readily known at this time. However, for the benefit of our students, of which the inclusion and self contained are considered and are public school students, the board needs to take some action so there is definitiveness for these students' benefit as school starts in several days. So that is what I'm asking for that right to seek guidance uh, through the county and or state, but that shouldn't hold up your vote today because these parents and students, like every parent and student, have an entitlement to receive 
if they are registered as public school students, to have stability and education available to them. So that is what I wanted to bring to your attention. Through the chair? Yes. Are you, are, you, are you saying that we should wait until you get an answer to make a vote? No, I don't want you to wait. Well, I'm not suggesting you wait. I'm suggesting, as of now, there is no clarity on that last point. Right. So are, you, as, are you suggesting uh, approval pending uh, review? No, I'm assuming that we that that re, that clarity from the county and or state is not always quick. Uh, we will the superintendent and I will immediately reach out if we are so instructed to the county and or state, but for, assume at this point, you, if they would say okay, then you would vote however you wish to vote, whether it be all three, two of the three. However, you should also assume we will not get clarity today and or the answer may be no, but I don't, we, we don't want to do another, it's up to you. Right, we don't, so is it possible to make a motion with depending on the answer, if it's like this, then it's like that, and if it's like that, then it'll be like this? Is that a legal motion? Uh, following the this and the that, you would make, I would suggest you could, it's not the preferred way, but you could make two motions. One motion would be assuming the 50 student question is either not answered or answered in the negative. And the second way, that would be one way. And the second way would be if it's voted yes, then we'll do this. So if that's the this and the that you were discussing, the answer is yes. Okay, so okay. Well, but I want to make it into one motion. I don't want to make it into one motion. All right, so if you're making um, the motion, you would have to let the BA write the motion. Uh, if you would like to dictate that motion, we, um, with the superintendent and board's permission, we would gladly hear that motion if there's no opposition on the dais to that motion. I have another question. What's gonna happen with the teachers? Are they hired by Tiny Tots? Are they hired by the district? Till this is, till, till this is answered. What's well, if I may, again, if this is a district operated program, if whatever portions or if you, if you bring any of this in house, then the district personnel instruct. If it is brought, not brought, either part or whole in-house, from what I understand, Dr. McCora and Ms. Silva have been instructed by the state, and correct me if I'm wrong, because while I was not on the phone, I am sure that I asked that quite a few people hear the instruction that there's no misinterpretation, willingly or otherwise, not that I believe that occurred. But Ms. Silva, uh, the instruction from the state was even if the board were to allow Tiny Tots to operate either a whole or part of what's being discussed, uh, you were allowed to establish, is it a plan, is that the word they use? Yes. Uh, for your needed. No, it, um, it's required that I uh, give them a plan for what will take place, uh, uh, a year's plan. That's what I was instructed to do. When I, I mean, I've got phone calls yesterday from, from, from teachers that I think it was signed on, but if time tax is gonna get it, then, I can, then they have to know which jobs to take. It's a third job waiting. And so, I mean, how long will this saga continue? Only for well, the sake of those teachers, too. Well, this saga, if I may, must come to an end. <clears throat> um, that's my opinion, because as I said earlier, the students come first, then the staff, but in that order, in my opinion, but the students and their parents need to have a definite response, I believe, if it's possible, I don't know, by 4 p.m., but there, uh, you need to give the parents and students, as well as staff, by 4 p.m. today. I don't know if the people are in the state today, there is an acting commissioner, I, I can't predict. What I can state is that we cannot allow this to delay any further as there are obligations that the district has to publicly enrolled students of which the inclusion and self-contained students at this time are. 